Hello beautiful souls. <laughs> My name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I'm here with you today to do um, today's angel message. So I really enjoyed it doing really enjoyed it doing yesterday and I hope it helped someone and we're gonna get right back at it again today okay. Um, we'll start with um, well these are the decks we'll be using who knows which we'll start first well, so we've got the soul's journey again we've got the cosmic journey we have the um, angels back again we have oh that's the fairy oracle I apologize the work your light oracle and spirit animals boxes there and I might pull from the sacred forest too I just did a, uh, a daily reading and um, some incredible cards came out for that a really magical reading so I want to see what energy we get here okay so let's start with start with our <sighs> the soul's journey what kind of messages okay I think four will be enough we don't want to overwhelm the messages right I'm gonna try not to put my glasses on today because that um, that glare is so distracting to me, and I'm sure it is to you at all as you're watching the video. I have ordered a pair of anti-glare, so you'll be able to see my eyes if I have to wear them. So we're gonna try our hardest here to read this little tiny, um, or at least if I have to read it, I'll take them right off. So the first card out is relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And that energy we had come out in yesterday's reading, right? That we want to be involved with people that challenge us, that um, help us raise our vibration um, and do good things in the world, right? So we've got that back. Then we have an energy of regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So somebody may be feeling regretful in their life that they can't go back and change the past. Maybe you yourself or somebody connected with you um, oh, made a mistake or regrets an action they took or something they said, you might have said to someone. So this could be your energy, like I said, or somebody associated with you and no, we can't go back and change anything, but we can be accountable for our side in any situation, right? Take action with it. We can apologize, right? And try to mend and, and repair and move forward in life. Um, we can't hold on to regret. It, it, it serves no purpose, and it only holds you back, Um you may even have regret over the loss of a job or something like that. And, and that those are tough energies to get by. And I've spoken about this many a time now. And for me, you know, a 23 year career in a field and having my position eliminated when I thought I was gonna be retiring from a company that I so passionately invested myself in it. And it took me a while to get over that loss and I mean a couple of years and I regret that it took me so long to get over it that I had so much of my self-worth trapped in who I thought I was at work and um, so it could be that kind of regret right like regret any kind of, re of a relationship a family relation a, re re a romantic um, a friend relationship Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be love, and it could be anything. Regret that we didn't go for something that we really wanted. Regret that we didn't start something as soon as we wanted to. 
um, doing this channel has been a dream of mine for a long time and I regret waiting so long to start this but here I am now doing it right so don't let regret um, for things in the past hold you back in any way fear I realize that I'm I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love well love is the energy of fear right um, You have to let go of fear in life. Fear can hold you back and do such a disservice. It's like regret, right? Um, don't be afraid of love. Don't be afraid, afraid to do anything in your life, whether it's um, embark on a new career, if it's starting a new relationship, if it's making a phone call, if it's talking to someone, right? Um, or handling a situation. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't let fear stop you in any way. Um, don't let fear of the unknown, like you might be on a new path and you're afraid of what might be coming towards you. Don't be afraid. 100% of the time you have handled every situation you've been in, right? We get through everything that, that happens. Somehow with magic, we do, right? We just get through it. We deal with whatever we have to and we move on and... That's what you need to do with fear. Take the time to acknowledge that you have it and figure out what you can do to get past it. And then the next card we have is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And that's true. We are all changing and growing, you know. Um, like with my job in 23 years, um, that's a lot of longevity in, in today's world, right? A lot of people don't stay in places that long. And I was just lucky that I had the opportunities I had where I worked. But a year before my position was eliminated, it was time for me to leave and I knew it. I knew it. There was nothing left there for me to do, to conquer, to accomplish, to grow, to learn, to teach, right? And so we need change to keep growing, keeping us moving, keeping us going in a forward direction. And with each change comes a new level and a new path for us. And um, right now with the energy we're in, this Scorpio transformative energy, um, if you've been manifesting or anything like that, change could be coming to you now. Your manifestations could start coming in. And it could be a manifestation around a relationship that maybe um, someone has some fear and regret over. Maybe it's a uh, fear of walking away from a relationship too. Maybe fear of walking away from a work situation, right? If I leave this job and I pursue my dreams, what's going to happen to me? What will I do? How will I protect myself? So lots of different energies there we have to work through. Okay. Well, that was pretty serious, huh? All right. Now let's go into your cosmic journey. Spirit, what energies can we bring out here for the collective in this angel reading today? Okay. Bottom of this deck is listen in stillness. You meet your true self. So here, Spirit is encouraging you to take some time to be still, to be in the silence, to be alone, and really think and listen. Listen to what your higher self is telling you. You could even meditate, you can journal, but have some kind of mechanism where you're getting your thoughts and feelings out of you and processing them. And the best way to do that is to be quiet, you know, go for a walk. Um, it's hard on days like today. The wind will give you whiplash. <laughs> um, 
but you can you can most people can get out and go for a walk somewhere um, exercise some yoga meditation just quiet time by yourself and a cup of tea or a cup of cocoa or coffee whatever you like maybe a candle burning you know something to set a nice calming tone for yourself and you can just write even read and just think I do my best thinking when I'm in the car you know I get lots of downloads from spirit you know I talk to spirit when I drive and you can even try that because you'll get signs and answers back so I encourage to just talk to your spirit guides just talk into the air to them ask for a sign or a message you'll get it okay all right so we have every cycle is a higher opportunity so we may be going into a new cycle here where we and we're going into some change change is coming and um, we have to get over some regret and fear to make the most of this change right regret and fear then we have coming soon welcome to the next descending age okay so you may be um, ascending to uh, a higher level of vibration a higher frequency of living and that's exciting um, growing and connecting with spirit your spirit the spiritual side of you um, brings you higher opportunities you see more in the world you see the magic in the world as you ascend more and I've talked about that quite a bit, seeing the magic around you, how nature will talk to you and give you messages. And that's a sign of ascension, right? Um, ringing in your ears, shivers, downloads, okay? All of these things could start happening for you. And sometimes they can be surprising if you're not expecting them. Um, you may find it difficult as you ascend to be around some people that you once were around, that their energy will start affecting you in another way. Um, so those are all things that might start happening to you um, as you ascend further. Ah, thus one journeys to the stars. Okay, so as you ascend, you're taking a journey up into the universe, right? You're expanding your thinking, you're expanding your soul and your heart. It's beautiful. And then the last card is, and this is number, this is number 10. So let me go back and tell you. Um, every cycle is a higher opportunity. This is a 13, so this becomes a four. Then coming soon is eight. And because the one jumps to the stars, this is a 10. Okay. And this card is a 10. Um, deliver your greatest gift to the world, right? Um, so for me right now, I think having this conversation with you is one of my greatest gifts and um, sharing these messages from spirits this is my gift being here on youtube and doing these readings spirit has been encouraging me for years to do this and here i am finally doing it sharing my gift and maybe this isn't your gift but we all have a gift of some kind and it's really taking that time and stillness to tap into yours. And you'll find yours for you, something that's uniquely you. And it's something different for everyone. And you can't be afraid to pursue yours. Um, because what kept me from this was getting over the fear of doing exactly what I'm doing. And once you do it, it's over. You just have to have that... Um, 30 seconds of fearlessness, 30 seconds, just, you know, for me, it was just turning on the camera and taping, taping yourself and 
having all that self-acceptance of how you sound, what you look like, right? Um, and what you're going to say to people. Like I'm trying to work on the ums I do. Because <laughs> when I listen back to it, I hear um, um, just thinking and I'm getting these downloads and trying to process it all for you. And especially when I first start out, I have the ums, the ums, the ums. So, um, and I mention that only because nobody is perfect. Nobody's going to get out here and do this perfectly. It takes time and practice. And I realize I'm still new at it and I probably make some mistakes. And you know what? I've been watching readers for years, a couple of them, and they make mistakes too because we're all human and we all make mistakes. Okay? That's what it means to be human. And it's courageous to even admit something, right? Like to put your vulnerability out there and say these kinds of things. But it's so freeing, right? Like to not have anything to hide in this world and to accept yourself authentically for who you are. So there you go. And authentically who you are is the gift. Okay, let's get our spirit animal of the day here. What animals are we embodying today, spirit? What do we need to hear with this reading? As change is com coming, someone is ascending spiritually, facing some regret and fear. All right, I think four animals is enough for one day, huh? Okay. Oh, actually, we had five come out, so we might have quite the population going here. And I am definitely going to need the glasses. Maybe if I keep them down like this on my nose, it will help. Um, Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Okay, so Spirit is encouraging you to go deep, really go deep on yourself. Think deep, feel deep. Okay. Go deep down into your, your desires, right? Way down in there. Maybe things you've buried or haven't wanted to face in yourself. And do that deep, deep dive. And see how you really feel about some things. Then we have rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Rabbit spirit. Do any of you look at your um, Chinese, for your Chinese horoscope? Um, I'm a rabbit. <laughs> and so this card says rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. So boy, I hope it is going to be a lucky time. And in the reading um, I did earlier, magic came out on two different cards. So maybe um, the energy between this full moon and the new new moon that's going to come up mid-month there's a lot of magical energy around these eclipses that have happened and if you've been manifesting your manifestation may be coming in now or something magical and lucky is going to happen here for some of us next we have koi fish spirit there is always enough and this is a, an energy of generosity, right? There's always enough for everyone. There's enough abundance for everyone. There's enough luck and opportunity for everyone. And we all deserve it. Okay? There's enough to go around for everyone in this world. And you just have to have a generous heart and share. And it's not just money, right? It's it's time, it's energy, it's compassion, it's understanding, giving, loving. Those are all um, commodities that there are enough of if we all share what we have. And that's like sharing your gifts, right? Okay. And last we have, oh, not last, but almost, Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit. <laughs> That's what I was just saying, right? Be generous of who you are and the gifts you have and, and give them to the world. And the world needs this energy now so badly. 
And I don't need to tell anyone that, right? There's so much suffering going on in this world, worldwide. And right here in our own United States, right? There's just so much going on. So much we need to fix and work on. And the more of us that stand up, right, and speak out on these causes can make a difference in the world. So use that voice of yours. yours. Be bold and brave. And next we have Wombat Spirit. <laughs> oh, and that, that message is be at home. Be at home with yourself. Be proud of who you are, you know? No matter where you are in life, no matter what you look like, no matter what you weigh, no matter how tall you are, none of it matters. That just doesn't matter. And when you can get to a point in your life where none of those superficial things matter to you in your life and how you view other people, you have arrived um, at a higher vibration right it just doesn't matter what anyone looks like you know we all are who we are and we're all beautiful okay and be at home with yourself be who you are be authentically yourself so that's a big message so far in this reading okay what do we have left let's shine our light bottom of this deck is dance with life do something to change your energy okay you need to change your energy like I said get out and work um, have that playful energy that came out yesterday you know play with children play with animals dance around be happy put some music on like I love to cook and I love music on when I cook and I dance around while I cook it's a favorite of mine Okay, um, so there we have that. So we have four cards come out. Trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay, so as you ascend, you'll start getting these little um, things that will happen to you. You might get an eye twitch or your nose might get itchy. Um, you might get the shivers or goosebumps. Um, you may get downloads from spirit. You may be more sensitive to things you see on TV and in the news. Um, people may respond to you differently when you're in a different vibration. You might not be able to, to tolerate lower vibrations anymore or the things people talk about. Um, so as you're getting these um, and your intuition is not fear. If you're fearful, that's not your intuition. Your intuition is quiet and it comes from your soul. Okay. It's, it's a quiet energy, a gentle reminder, a, something gentle being pointed out to you. If you're fear, fearful and nervous, that's fear. Um, your intuition has nothing to do with fear. Okay. All right. It might may be something that spirit is trying to get a message to you about something, maybe something around change, a relationship, fear, or regret, right? It could be that kind of a message that's trying to come in with for you, okay? And as you're ascending, you can expect to get more messages like that. Your body kind of goes through like an upgrade. 
and you connect with things on a higher frequency. And this is science. This is not, um, you know, woo-woo stuff. <laughs> you, can look, you can look this up. Um, you know, animals vibrate at higher levels than us. So you've got that coming for you. Mentakin, longing for home, belonging to the original light workers. So for some of you here today, you might be a light worker, right? Um, and this is acknowledging that. And you might come from a long line of light workers in your life and your past ancestors, and you may be connecting with them um, as you ascend. And sometimes when you're spiritual and you ascend, you almost feel like you don't know where you belong. And that's a feeling I've had in the past. Like I was like, where do I belong? Where am I really meant to be? And that's how you need to come home to yourself. And as long as you're home to yourself, you're where you're supposed to be. Okay. But it's that longing for a place is the ascension. It's longing where you can have freedom, you know, and that will come with ascension. And then we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. I was just kind of talking about ancestors and light workers. Um, you can have maybe a grandparent that's passed on. Maybe somebody that always made you feel, maybe you felt good in their energy, right? You felt safe with them. Chances are they were a very spiritual being. Okay, so you'll be connecting with your ancestors and it's all right to talk to them and just say ancestors. That's how I do it. Say my ancestors. I don't know exactly who they are, um, but a year ago, well, almost two years ago now, my mom passed away. My mom had Lewy body dementia. Um, so she was ill for quite a few years and like you, we really lost her eight years before she passed. Um, but she stayed throughout her experience. She didn't know who she was anymore or anything like that. But she was the happiest, most loving, giving um, person, so warm and energetic. And I know my mother's up there looking down. And you may have someone in your life like that, right? Someone that um, really in your family that you just feel so good and strong around. And chances are they're a light worker just like you. And that could be somebody you could reach out to or, or lean on for guidance okay and then the the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you um right and you know that's a mess message in this sometimes people get spiritually awoken and they don't understand what's happening to them as they're ascending and sometimes um People who are blessed with it want no part of it. They just want no part of it. And that's okay. If you don't want this to happen to you, excuse me, you don't have to have it happen to you. But when you are in it, um, you'll keep evolving. You'll keep getting cracked open. You're almost charged with living a different life. And some of us do live a different life. We've been through maybe more extremes in life than some other people have because we are, you know, we're chosen, right? We're chosen to be on a particular journey. That's something we chose when we came into existence that we would have these abilities um, in our life. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the fairies say to wrap this up today. So here we've got somebody ascending. Ooh. Got some change coming in. Oh, 
got another card of magic here. Wow. It's the third one today. Something magical is happening. All right, this one looks like it wants to come out. One more, please, spirit. Okay. Bottom of this deck is celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Wow. Wow. Somebody. Right? A relationship and a change. Maybe somebody fear full of fear and regret, maybe afraid to approach you. Okay, then we have Magical Gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest reward rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. And that's the message here, right? Um, have no fear or regrets about the past. And what does it say? It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Okay, so we can't look back on the past. We can't have fear about it. We just have to keep plowing forward, leaving, leaving the regret and the sorrows behind. Oh, I love how synchronized these readings are. <laughs> Next, we have Inner Child. The fairies of play playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps you young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So this is a message of being adventurous, just being a goofball and having some fun. And there's nothing wrong with having fun, people. Sometimes we're so darn serious, huh? Oh my goodness, we're so darn serious sometimes. Let your hair down and go have some fun. You know, tomorrow the weekend starts here in the Northeast. I think the sun is actually going to be out all weekend. It'll probably be cold, but the sun will be out. It won't be raining, right? Get out there and do something. Have some fun, right? There's so many bazaars and fall festivals happening. There's lots of things you can do, and you're going to be getting an invitation because you're lucky. Okay. And the last card is Magical Blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by Magical Fairy Blessings. The fairies at sea say you can bless others too. So, and that's what we started with first, right? Is that sharing, well, not first, but in the middle here, right? Be generous of your time, of your heart, of your spirit, of your soul. Um, giving of your abundance, your time, you know, your positive energy um okay and now we're just gonna ask for one card spirit can you give us one card from the sacred forest one energy that can really help with this spiritual reading Aspen spirit, courage, okay? You're going to need courage to move past this fear and regret, okay? That's the only um, cards that I see challenging here, right? Otherwise, everything is really um, positive and lucky. I don't see anything else challenging. You're on a new path. You're on a new journey, right?
exciting. Stay strong, be courageous, right? Be willing to take a risk in life. Have to take risks, people. You can't be passive in today's world. You'll get chewed up and spit out. Okay? All right, folks. That was my message for you today, our angel message for today. Another good one. Thanks for being here. I hope you'll come back again. Maybe subscribe so you don't miss any. And I'd love to have you here on a permanent basis. Take care, y'all. Have a great Thursday. Bye-bye.